Welcome to Supermicro's 2025 Open Storage Summit. Changing is as models get bigger and GPU clusters get bigger, these checkpoints are getting bigger and they're happening more often. So the larger the cluster, the more often you have to do these checkpoints uh, and probably the more often you have to restore a checkpoint. So that's the key uh, for the training. You have a mix of you know, disk and flash, and you have a mix of read performance for the actual training data, but then read and write, or mostly write, for the checkpoints. Provide the best comprehensive solution for customer. As a supplier, I think that uh, the partnership is very important. So uh, Supermicro has been partnered with uh, the vendor together for a long time, and uh, we earn the trust from each other. So we have been working together uh, for each other. From a Supermicro's perspective, we have a lot of resources to work with our partners from a various level, uh, from research, engineering, production, even the business that we move along all together as a virtual team. The biggest thing when we flip to inference was it's low latency. Uh, how long you wait to that first token, and to your point about agentic workflows, that creates what we call multi-turn. So it's going to actually create a lot more intermediate data and a lot of intermediate tokens in the meantime. So there's also this real-time need for bursty access to data, including the different levels of RAG. Um, and those are one of the things that we realize that it's very important to understand and look at. And also you have to have an efficient use of that data and contact, um, context and retrieval. We optimize the layout of the data, we move the features you don't need, so you get the best performance. So that's one part. The other future of object is, as you see, there's a lot of uh, you know, people went to AI very quickly because they didn't want to lose out, but they forgot a few things. And so security, I think, is part of it. So you would see uh, object being used more and more because of all the security aspect that comes from it. Uh, there's also these things like uh, a vector database. So how come you have such high security on your bucket, but the vector database has a basic REST API with nothing else? Yeah. So it's going to be coming part of the object store. AI training side of things, uh, as I mentioned, you, you can't leave those GPUs idle and you need the really high throughput. So there we see the data center class drives. We also see you know, enterprise class drives. This is the highest performance that you can get is what's really needed in this space, highest throughput that you can get. Um, and so we sometimes see enterprise class, we also sometimes see three drive write per day. So for example, 15 terabyte, terabyte seems to be a sweet spot for AI training. Sometimes we'll see 12.8 uh, terabyte drives used, not necessarily for the endurance, but because you can get higher random write speeds when you do some of that over-provisioning.